Is this thing working? Can you hear me? <laughs> Cunningham, and you are watching Ask Amy. It's the place to be where you get smart with dating and create the love life you want. So we actually have a question today coming from Jane. I'm a big fan of your advice. I really, really need some help. I was married for three years. When I got a divorce, the world crumbled around me. I have no idea how to date and I ended up in a verbally abusive relationship. What tips do you have for me so that I can avoid this toxic type of relationship? I feel for you, hun. Thank you for being so brave to step out of those toxic relationships, to walk away and actually get some help. A lot of people do not do that. So you already are making the first step to changing your love life. So Jane, the first tip that I have for you is to look out for patterns. Let's be real here, there are people that have positive patterns and negative patterns. So I want you to pull out a paper and make a list of all the negative patterns you see in the relationships you have. Your past relationships, your friendships, maybe the relationships with your parents. It's okay, it's not judging, okay? It's really about facts and writing it down. And if you can see that there is a specific pattern there, then you definitely have to make note that this does not appear in any future relationships that you engage in. Tip number two is to get clear on those negative limiting beliefs, okay? And this is the negative thoughts that are running the show and making choices for you. They're that dark and negative narrative that you have that's saying, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, you better settle. And our goal here is for you to create awareness of these limiting beliefs. You have to ask yourself, what are the limiting beliefs that are causing me to settle right now? Are they really true? Is it something that I picked up from childhood, right? For example, I actually got bullied when I was in middle school. And I remember saying to myself, I'm not good enough. I don't fit in, no one likes me. So guess what? I picked up a habit of rescuing and trying to people please so that I could actually have friends and fit in. Until now, recognizing it, becoming aware that it's not true, that I am worthy, I am good, and I don't need to people please or rescue people in order to feel value in myself because I like me. So that's what I want you to do is get another piece of paper out and make a list of the beliefs and the inner narrative that you're, you're saying to yourself, the negative stuff. Then I want you to turn it around and talk to yourself as you would to someone that you loved. Tip number three, Jane, is for you to hold your boundaries strong by knowing your relationship non-negotiables. These are your deal breakers in a relationship. This is what tells you what, is, what you're okay with and what you're not okay with in a relationship and when to walk away. You know, for example, I have clients that tell me they wanna be treated like a priority. They want somebody that's financially stable. They want somebody that wants a family. As you notice, these are not superficial traits like height or color of hair. These are what core values you need to have in common with your partner in order for that relationship to work. For you, I would say because you came from a verbally abusive relationship, the most important thing for you to look out as a non-negotiable is for you to look out for somebody that communicates well, that knows healthy conflict, that comes to resolution in a healthy way. So now I wanna hear from you. Do you struggle with the same challenges that Jane does? If you do, or if you've resolved it, please leave your questions and comments below because it can help Jane a lot and help a lot of other people. And also, let's keep this conversation going. If you have a question or you'd like to talk, please go over to amythedatingcoach.com, send me a message or schedule some time for us to talk and let's meet. And if you found that this episode was very valuable to you, please subscribe to the channel so that I can share more videos with you and more tips. Thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you next time.